hot and techy Brazza, the city bird SUV. Rajasthan Royals have had some time to savor that Joss Butler powered win against KKR. They now take on Mumbai Indians, who also come in on the back of victory in Punjab in their last outing. What can we expect? It's time to build up to match number 38 on Maruti Suzuki Arena. Presents ESPN Trick and Pro Timeout in the company of Tom Moody and Mitch McLennigan. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Uh, let's start with Mumbai and their bowling attack. And while we usually always focus on Jaspreet Bumrah, he's doing all the heavy lifting, Mitch. Mm -hmm. But now that you are halfway into the season, what is the best way for Mumbai to use the rest of their bowlers to try and limit the damage that they're facing? Hmm. Yeah, really good question. It's, uh, I'm glad you came to me with that one first, uh, instead of going to Tom. Uh, look, uh, I, I, I've got to highlight that I think Gerald Kotsi has got considerably better. He's going at just over nine and a half now. Uh, we've also got to remember that he was part of that big total against Sunrisers where he went at almost 16. So that economy rate is coming down every game and, and he's having a significant impact at the top, taking wickets and crucial wickets at that. He's starting to find his line and his length. So he's become a, one of their bankers now. Um, the real question is, uh, where does Nabi fit in this lineup? So Nabi didn't bowl in the last game. He's purely there as a lower order, uh, lower order batter and, and didn't feature. So can you bring in another maybe new ball bowling option there or someone who can bowl maybe one over at the def as well? So those are the questions that need to, to be answered. Uh, is it a Luke Wood um, or is it a Nuan Tashara who comes into that side? Uh, I think I'd probably lean towards uh, Luke Wood. Um, I think his ability to impact the game in the middle overs uh, so you have an, another attacking bowler in the middle if you need an over to try and take a wicket uh, would have an impact. Um, but there's a few little things that they need to clean up there. You're right. Is that a case in this particular game for both Nabi and Shreyas Gopal to perhaps have a slightly bigger role? We've seen the Savai Mansing Stadium has a slightly larger outfield and Rajasthan spinners tend to thrive. Yeah, well, it is a venue that spin can have an impact. So yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with Mitch in that I think that they need to consider either Shepherd or Nubby. Um, and given that they're um, going to play away from home in Jaipur, where you know, Nubby may just be a little bit more valuable because of the conditions, uh, I'd be closely looking at Shepherd and what value am I getting out of Shepherd at that venue? Because ultimately he's going to bat seven um, and Nubby eight. Nubby can bat seven. So it's really who has the greater influence against this opposition on that surface, is it going to be the off-spin of Nubby or the pace of, of a Shepherd? Now, yeah. I'm not saying that Shepherd can't pull off a, a heist like he did in that 10-ball innings in uh, one caddy, but it, it's unlikely at Jaipur that he's going to have that impact uh, as, as he had there. So that's a decision, and that will be based on, on the surface, and that they would, would have had a good look at the surface the day before. They'll have a look at the surface the morning or the afternoon of the game, and make that call. If you were making that change, Romario Shepherd, and if you're <clears throat> getting a bowling reinforcement, which of the options stand out to you? I'd be going with um, uh, Wood as well, purely because he was first choice to begin with, and then had that uh, little niggle, but he's been back fit for now for, for a week or two. Uh, I just like the left arm option. It gives them uh, some variety. You can swing the new ball, so he supports you know, Bumra, Kutsia as a strong power play bowling option and you know, his, uh, you know, his variety, particularly his cutters that he can bowl and stump to stump, lines that he can bowl from over and round the wicket will be valuable in Jaipur. Let's turn our attention towards Rajasthan Royals. It's been smooth sailing for them. Six wins out of seven despite Yashaswi Jaiswal not being in the runs. And uh, one continued tactic that's continued to intrigue us, not just this season, uh, a lot of using our Ashwin higher up. Uh, do the results justify that tactic? Well, not to this point of the season, they don't. Um, the last game, you could see what they were trying to achieve. They were trying to take Narayan, a couple of Narayan's overs out of the game so he didn't have to bowl to Hipmeyer um, to give Hipmeyer the best chance of being able to, to capitalise on not having Narayan bowl to him. So, uh, and that didn't work. So they took a punt and, and putting him up there and, and they just didn't bowl Narayan. They saved him for Hipmeyer anyway. So... Uh, it seems to be tactical when they put them up there. Um, I, I'd like to see them bat. Well, we had Ian Bishop here last week, right? And he said that guys like Hipmeyer are better players than what a lot of teams are giving them credit for. And I tend to agree with that. I think Hipmeyer 
can have a significant impact on a game, particularly if they're going to continue to play Robin and Powell there as well. He gives them their banker of a finisher there as well if Hetmeyer doesn't come off. Um, I guess, yeah, it's a it's an interesting one, isn't it, whether Ashwin is well, necessary for him to go up the order. Well, I think they're fixated that Hetmeyer and Robin Powell are the finishers against them splitting them and having one as a finisher and one mm. as a... You know, a, you know, a creator, then a finisher. Um, and, you know, that, that's why they're using Ashwin in that position is to push those two down the order so they're there for the last five overs. But to me, the last two games they've got out of jail. Hetmeyer got them out of jail against Punjab, away from home. And the very last game they played in Kolkata, it was Joss Butler's uh, genius yeah. that got them out of jail both times. Both those games, they, 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 were, they should have lost those games. Mm -hmm. um, and they could argue back and say, well, we end up winning it. We got our tactics right. Well, that's fine. They did, but there's no longevity of uh, that being a successful formula. And it becomes particularly uh, questionable, especially when you consider that Tetmeyer and Powell, whichever other teams they play for, even West Indies, these aren't people who bat at six and seven. These are guys who have proven yeah. themselves as people who do the damage over a lot more than 15 balls. Yeah, they're far better players than sort of, you know, pinch hitters or sloggers yeah. at the end of the innings. Uh, Rotherham and Batty, that's four for West Indies? Four or five, yeah. Um, and they've got a vast amount of experience as well. Um, so in a way, it's nearly like they're being wasted. Their, their resources are being wasted. And who's to say that we're, we, we're speaking sense because they're top of the table, you know. <laughs> so, you know, they're doing something right. All right, let's get predictions in. Will Mumbai stop the table toppers? Yeah, I think they will. Yeah, I think uh, they just need a couple of components to come together, and I think they're running hot. No. No, not winning, uh, I don't think, in Jaipur against Rajasthan. Um, I just think that the, the Rajasthan have got most boxes ticked, except for the one that we've been talking about. All right, split verdict on the panel then. So it sets us up nicely. Be sure to join the build-up. To Rajasthan Royals versus Mumbai Indians just before toss time on Monday evening on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket for Time Out. All new hot and techy breath up, the city bird SUV.